Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another new release day video. Some hardcore Canadian content for you here today. Just came out yesterday. LCS got today because there were daylight. The 2022 CFL, obviously hobby box uh, with eight cards per pack and 16 packs per box. This year featuring three hits per box on average, either a relic, autograph, or relic. Basically, two of them can be an autograph or a relic, and one of them is a guaranteed relic, which is different from last year. Last year, the 2021 stuff was only guaranteed two hits, one auto, one relic. It could have been two autos, could have been two relics. Hard to say. Sometimes you got a third one thrown in there. I opened a few boxes of those. One box. Uh, I opened a box I didn't put on the channel for some reason. It had like three relics, whereas usually I got an autograph. Anyway, you can go back and watch those ones. I'll put the links in the description down below. So you can check those ones out if you want to for the 2021 set. But anyway, 2022, they got it out. Uh, training camp has technically started for CFL this week, I think. It was either this week or last week, maybe this week. Yeah, so technically, they got it out before the 2023 season has started. So 2022 season is obviously over. Things have changed. Players have moved around, but at least the new season hasn't started. So call it close enough. Reasonably well for how Upper Deck has been the last few years. So we'll take it. So anyway, a little bit different this year aside from just the uh, changes to the hits in the box. Abandoned the red parallels. Used to usually get a numbered red parallel. Uh, the gold parallels also used to be numbered to 50. I think red was 150 or 250. And then the gold was to 50. Those are gone. The gold is still in here, but it's no longer numbered and it's now one and three and a half packs. So that's the only non-numbered parallel. It's as far as other parallels go, UD Classics, sort of like the hockey set, exclusive number to 100, high gloss number to 10, and purple one of ones are the base parallels. And then after that, it's autographs. Autographs are one and eight, so you're going to get base sets, essentially, mostly what you're going to get. They're all sticker autos, of course, just like last year. Tier one and tier two auto sets. Good players are obviously tier two, bad players are tier one. More likely to get the tier two quarterbacks and stuff like that in the tier one. And then aside from the autographs, a lot of memorabilia cards in here. Regular game jerseys are one and 22. The patch version are numbered to 35. The jumbo version are one in 140 packs. And then there's uh, game jersey auto autos which are one in 150 patches number to 10 so those are the big those could the auto patches of the, of the quarterbacks are pretty much the big chases there are also one of one logo patches in here uh the cfl logo just like the nhl logo would be in hockey or the uh nba logo man whatever it's the same version just the cfl version like i said eight cards per pack 16 packs per box 20 packs per case so two inners so standard standard stuff there uh so the breakdown for this stuff is two autographs auto and or an auto relic and one relic so it looks like you're getting at least two autographs and one relic this year whereas last year it was like two hits of one of both so switch it up a little bit this year and uh, lost some parallels in the in the mix. So he said it's 2022. Some stuff has changed. Got Kalaros on the box there. He's there. He's still staying put in Winnipeg. But uh, me being a Ryder fan, for example, uh, we've got Harris there now. Basically, we blamed all of our offensive problems on Fajardo and basically kicked him to the curb. Uh, he he buggered off to Montreal and we got uh, Trevor Harris now in a whole new pretty much offense. Old line for sure. We'll see how it goes. But looking forward to the new season. Should be starting in a couple weeks here. So here's 2022. So I didn't watch as much football last year as I wanted. I do know the Ryder sucked ass. I can tell you that much. And that Toronto won the Grey Cup. McLeod Bethel Thompson. So pulling his card out here would be awesome. Quarterbacks. It's football. It's a football set after all. If you ever watch anybody open up any Panini sets, it's pretty much quarterbacks or bust. This is not sealed? Well, that's interesting. So it was sealed in the wrapper, but that's it. No other seal. So I don't even really need this. Okay, then. So there you go. So there's your pack. So autographs are basically one in eight because you're going to get at least two in here. There's your pack odds. Should be the same as the box. Every now and then you get a set that's different, though, which is weird. Former Ryder QB, Zach Kalaros on there. Typical Ryder fashion. He went to another team, and uh, it's better. So base set, from my eye, doesn't... Uh I don't think they changed a whole lot from last year. So you got Eric Rogers. So I won't worry too much about the base set. Uh, half these guys, I don't know who they are anyway. All right, so here's our first UD exclusive of Julian Julian Hausherr. Hausherr? Anyway, so the exclusives are numbered to 100. So same, uh, they have decoys in here as well. So what's interesting is that this being a numbered card, it doesn't count as a hit because technically the hits are autos and relics. So you can get these in here. I'm curious, to, I, mean, I would assume you only get like one of these along with your base your base ones or your uh, <clears throat> your gold parallels. So there's the first numbered card. Although I've got the Canadian glasses on for the hardcore Canadian content. I don't know if I'll keep them on. I literally, it's so hard to read with these things on. Anyway, there we go. First numbered card. Yeah, decoy. Bo Levi Mitchell who went to Hamilton. There's some talk he was going to go to Ryderville, but uh, he ended up signing Hamilton, which I'm okay with. Him being a rider would have admittedly been a little weird. So we got Kamar Jordan. Pulled a couple nice cards of his last year. So we got another UD exclusives. Okay. So apparently we're going to get two of those in a row. So this is Tim Bonner. So 76 out of 100. So two exclusives. So there you go. So you can hit multiples of these in the same box. So and again, these don't count as hits, but so you get a, get a couple of those in there. So two, uh, two of the nice numbered parallels. So we'll take that. All right. So I don't know what's going on because there's another exclusives in here so maybe you're just gonna hit them a lot more than it seems like you are because this is my third pack and we're hitting another one so 
Ryder McJones. So there's Bull Levi Mitchell speaking of. It's a 90 of 100. So a good exclusive to hit. So well, he's been traded now. Last year he was on the Stamps. Now he's on Hamilton. So Hamilton fans, I guess, they still like him enough in Stamps country to want that in Calgary. I don't know. Three exclusives in a row. This is weird. Okay, that this one has this one has one of our mem cards in it. So we'll save that for after. We'll save that guy for the end. So there's, there's a, one of our relics. It's a pretty thick card, so I'd say it's better than just a regular game jersey. That, at the very least, is a uh, patch of some kind. All right, find the gold parallel here. So there you go. So Tremere Washington. So last year, these were numbered out of 50. This year, it's just a gold parallel, so nothing too special there. You just get quite a few of those in the box. I was pulling them out of the box willy-nilly. I'll, I'll stick to one row or one pile. One stack? I'll stick to one stack and see how that goes. Stop hitting exclusives one after the other. I learned in my last videos, uh, unless I know these names, I'm not going to pronounce them. Mika Teets, I know his name. So we another, there we go. So Michael Domagala, the kicker for the Hamilton Tie Cats on the gold parallel there. Like I said, there are decoys there. I'm going to have to open the packs up and see if I hit a big card and then save it. Got to at the very least make you fast forward to the end to see a good card. Can't give away all the hits at the start. Hey, when that happens. Okay, well, this looks like a game jersey, so no. Decoy? White decoy? No, this is okay. This is our first jersey by the look of it. So, and a U. Uh, okay. So, it looks like we got a UD exclusive. So, another Tim White. So, 100. So, these are going to be far more common than uh, it seems like. They don't say how common they are on the box because they just say they're numbered. And they'll never tell you how common a numbered card is, but <clears throat> pretty common by the look of it. So, that's uh, Tim White and the Tie Cats. And all right. So, our first game jersey. So, that's what the new UD game jersey cards look like there. That's Sean Oakman, defensive lineman for the uh, Argonauts. Great cup winning Argonauts there. New training card. Remember, it has been certified the uh, but it has been used in an official CFL game. So, there you go. Game worn stuff is good. And in exclusives. So these are just, like I said, far easier to hit than it would seem. I guess that makes sense. You know, they don't overprint this stuff. It's kind of a smaller print run stuff. So you got Willie Jefferson there. So I got two golds in one. Interesting. So you got Brandon Dozier on the gold and Willie Jefferson. So a bit of a mistake there. Put two in one pack. But uh, the stuff isn't really that overprinted. So I mean, you got to make 100 cards of each player. If you don't overprint it, you're going to put them in a lot of packs. So it's like you'll see a lot of the exclusives. So not like uh, not like the hockey stuff where when you get an exclusive, it's a pretty big deal. So you're just going to get a lot in here. So there's Aaron Grimes, solid defensive back for the uh, the Elks, formerly Eskimos. Cloud Bethel Thompson, the uh, great cup winning quarterback, who I think resigned there as far as I know he did. So effectively, all they've done is just taken the numbering off the gold, just making it a non numbered card, and then the uh, exclusives replace the red, which are 50. They're 100 instead of 50 now, but you're hitting them almost the same amount, it feels like, so... There's Ryan Davis on the gold, so yeah. Overall, it feels the same. They're just called an exclusive now instead of just a red. Every pack I grab, I feel like this is one's got something in it. It's thick, and that's that's right. Decoys, dum dum. All right, so another gold there. I have uh, Curly Gittens Jr. behind the space. So we're still waiting on our first autograph, which uh, makes me excited that that might be a patch auto. I don't think I pulled a patch auto to my four boxes last year, just patches. Uh, this one, am I missing something here? Uh, just a base pack. All right, so you can get base packs. Yeah, not even a gold. Just a base pack. All right, so possible base packs. And as always, if you like CFL, these kind of openings, uh, feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I always try and open a few boxes of CFL every year. Normally, I'm a hockey channel, but it's Johnny Augustine. Uh, but I just love cards. I'll open anything. I love CFL, so I like opening this stuff. These videos never do quite as well on the channel as the hockey ones do, but um, I just like doing them because it's fun to set. So this is more for me than anything. And you just don't see a lot of CFL on YouTube anyway. So I like sharing it. So there's Kalaros. For speed, I have an autograph of him from last year. Ed Gainey. Another dude exclusives of Jake Meyer. So was the backup. Although he took over after, I uh, believe I got hurt and then kind of lost the rein. So the ring and Stan Peters huh, made, a, made a horse pun. So 11 out of 100. One off the number. That sucks. What are you going to do? So there you go. Another exclusives. All right. We only got a couple of packs left and we're still due for another another auto. So where is it going to be? Should be showing up here soon. Hopefully I didn't get gypped. There's Fajardo speaking of. It's the last one in the box. That's not that one that I've already opened. So the auto should be in here. I mean, it is three hits per box on average, but I guess we'll see. So there it is. Perfect. So we got Samuel, Samuel Kempong. So again, sticker autos there. So it's a base. Base sticker auto. Great cup winning. Toronto Argonaut lineman there. Sticker autos, but nice auto. We kept it on the sticker. It's what you expect. It'd be nice if the uh, like nice patch autos were on card, but I don't think they are. I think they're all stickers too. So the, uh, I've also opened up on the channel the uh, SP Game Use CFL from 2021, and it was nothing but stickers, which is too bad because that's a really nice, really nice looking product. And you get tons of autographs in there, tons. Every card's autographed, but uh, just stickers like crazy. So it'd be nice if there was some on card stuff for the CFL, but it is what it is. So last pack here, which has got a pretty thick card in it. Now, if the um, if you're a believer in the 
other hits not being so great, making this one a good one. Two autograph cards and a relic. We've got the relic. We've got the regular auto. So we got a UD game patch. Perfect. So it is a tie cat. We know that much. And not signed. Okay, well, that's all right. So Ariel Brooks, 1 out of 35. And a, they're using patch pretty loosely there. So they're calling that a patch, but uh, that looks like a jersey swatch to me. So it's a thicker base stock than the jersey card. I mean, it's a different material, obviously. Like, here's your jersey material with the holes in it, and this is like, kind of feels like a tarp. So where the heck? I was looking at the jersey and seeing where they would have got this patch from. Like a solid black chunk of patch. I don't know. Anyway, two mammon cards, one autograph. What's one of the out of 35 patch cards, which is good. So we'll take that, so. Interesting. All right, cool. Oh, and there was a gold card in there, Nate Bear. All right, so there we go. So uh, I won't even bother looking at the gold cards. They're they're so they're almost like a base card. So so we got our UD exclusives, which are basically basically replace the old reds. Now you get a card out of a hundred instead of two numbered cards. Pretty much seemed to me to be as common as the reds were last year. So Jake Meyer always hit good hit quarterbacks. My receivers are good. Again, believe I good card to hit. Depending, we'll see. And then, uh, yeah, so that's it for the exclusives there. And then our auto, Ray Cup winning, but uh, other than that, defensive lineman, they don't get as, love as, as much love as a quarterback. So there you go. Game jersey and the patch. So at least you can see the difference in the cards. Sort of the design's pretty much the same. All right, so one box, 2022 CFL. Overall, it's CFL. Feels very similar to last year. Not a whole lot of changes. The extra hit is nice. You know, I mean, we're so used in this hobby for the hits going the other direction. Only getting like one and then maybe another one is how things usually go. So it's actually nice to see something trending in the right direction. So we'll take that. You get lots of numbered cards. They're nice. Guaranteed you get an auto. Sticker autos again, but what are you going to do? It's a cheaper set. Get a lot of cards for cheap and uh, three hits for that kind of money. Can't complain. So overall, I like it. As a CFL fan, I like it. If you're not a CFL fan, you're not a CFL football fan, why would you buy it anyway? So limited audience but still good product so there you go so like i said if you guys like the cfl stuff let me know in the comments uh I like open it i'll have to open more i'd love to open a case of this stuff and see like what a case hit looks like just to see like some of the big hits cards have hit in the past see how close to a case hit they are it'd be nice to see but it's a lot of money for cards that uh, don't have a ton of resale value a few of them have okay resale value but not a lot so hard to get your money back with this stuff but so just make sure you open it because you like it and you won't be disappointed so there we go thank you guys for watching appreciate it as always and uh, we'll see you in the next one